Hi everybody and welcome to this week's webinar from Professional Beauty and Hairdressers Journal Ireland. And this week we have uh, something a little bit different, I think. Uh, we have Agnes, I'm going to have to pause before Gaius I pronounce her Stan, name. Perfect. <laughs> Gaueska, Gaueska, is it? Gaueska, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, and Agnes is uh, an award-winning facialist from Essential Beauty and Skincare in Dublin. And she specializes in face modeling, which I think is something um, a lot of people haven't actually heard about. So we are going to go straight in and ask her to explain exactly what it is. Hello, everyone. Uh, so face, face modeling, it's, it's a yeah, brand new treatment. It's a scalpel free facelift. This treatment um, includes good few steps um, and they all tailor individually for each client, but also I try to cover um, each movement that I learn through, through my course. Um, I work with the posture because obviously posture is very important. I work with the face, so some of the osteopathic massage. I work with buccal massage, not so much now through the COVID time because the buccal massage is inside your mouth. Um, I also work with coping, uh, with my signature uh, massage, and I also recommend kinetic tape um, application to maybe do it in the salon or take them home because not everybody wants to live with the kinetic tapes on your faces you know especially in dublin four area essentials it's based so maybe not the best look to to leave uh, the salon with but that's what it is okay and where like has it been around long where does it originate so the, the girl that i got trained she's from poland i'm also originally from poland and um, to be honest i was searching for somebody to teach me how to do the face modeling or something similar to face modeling for around two years there is good few people on the market that they can teach you but unfortunately they're not that great um, they um, they do take i'm not saying advantage but they do charge a lot for the trainings and the trainings are very basic. And then I came across Aneta um, Gregorovich Gorlo. Don't ask me how to spell it. I can give you the details <laughs> after. And uh, she teach me and I was very lucky. I shouldn't be saying this one loud, but she actually teach me one to one that she never did it before. Usually she has a group um, mm -hmm. and her group is small. Instead, some of the people I was searching, for example, in Russia, those groups are huge. You don't have the proper contact with, uh, with the practitioner, with the trainer, I should say it. Uh, when with her, she was able to answer all my questions. She has that beautiful, holistic approach. Um, and herself, she's cosmetologist. Uh, she did all possible treatment in the past but unfortunately she felt that wasn't enough she felt she wanted to do something else something effective and she created a method she was traveling like to india thailand russia and um, her own experience and she mixed everything together and that's how her face modeling came to to an action and um yeah there is a lot of steps that as i said we start i start with the postures it's very important, obviously, to have the right posture to achieve the real results on our faces. Um, you do a little bit copying on the back. You work with osteopathic movements, so you don't use oil. You want to feel the muscle. You want to feel what's wrong with the muscle. You want to feel how, how clients actually feel, what they need, what they want to achieve from the treatment. And then we apply kinetic tapes on the back. You can see a little bit on my Instagram, but I'm not really sharing too much of the professional one, but you can definitely see the back one. Um, to, for those tapes to work for extra, maybe let's say eight hours, up to 24 hours, and remove all the toxins. Um, so when you finish the back, then you move to the actual massage bed, and you work with the face, so you do the osteopathic massage, so again, 
massage to feel the, the muscles. It's not always pleasure. It's not massage that we all learn in schools, mm -hmm. that it's all lovely effort. It's relaxing, but you want to feel the blood supply. You want to feel the, an action. You, you, you don't want to just leave the salon slightly relaxed. You mm -hmm. want to feel the full benefits. You're paying for the treatment. You want to make sure you spend the money the right way. Um, as I said, I also work with coping. We are all familiar with the coping on the body, but with yeah. the small glass cups on the face. And um, at the moment, as I said, buccal, it's not an option, the inside the mouth. So instead that quite often, since we came back from the lockdown, um, I use the LED machine if there is no contraindication for the actual client. And then, um, I work with my signature massage and if client allowed me, I buy the kinetic tapes. If not, I just measure them and give to a client to apply that particular evening or night so they can wear it overnight. If there's again, no allergy to, to the actual glue, even it's vegetable glue, still can irritate your skin slightly. So you just want to make sure it's all working the proper way. Okay, and then the whole, um... I don't want to say procedure because it makes it sound a bit medical, but how long does it take? An hour and a half. And to be honest, when I came back from the training, I was hoping to do in one hour or even one okay. hour and 15, but you have to spend an hour and a half. Um, and then when you learn the face modeling, being honest, you never just do a normal massage technique to a client, even if you're doing a normal facial. So. Like I, I will be well known for a, a gino facials and my gino massage, it's never the gino massage. Uh, since the training, I always add some of the face modeling because it's so incredible when people try it once, that's it. They want to have it again. Okay. And is it suitable for some clients more than others or does it matter? Um, People that will be going for face modeling, obviously they're looking for that firmness, that re-sculpting um, results. So a lot of clients will get the results through that, but we have to remember this treatment, it's also amazing for a stress. So it has anti-stress re result. So that's why young people are probably more stressed than the slightly older, you know, it's because the older people, they know from their life experience how to deal with stress when the young generation doesn't as much. Um, so I think it's for this face modeling, it's for everyone, but you will take different steps differently for, uh, for each, each person. Okay. And Will they see, you know, say somebody decides that they're, they're booking in um, and they get it done, will they see results straight away after one session? Definitely. So what I try to do, um, I always, when I do the first step, so when I do the back, then the consultation, and, um, and then I try to do a little bit of that osteopathic massage, um, I always show a mirror to a client to see the half and half face. And this part okay. maybe takes only five minutes, but the result is there. You know, it's, you can imagine you really separate the tissue, you separate the muscles from the bony parts. So there's more circulation. You work with the ear, and like unfortunately, with age, the ear becomes too close to our face and create all those liney parts there that we're not happy about. And that's why um, people see the results straight away. I don't really post much before and after picture through let's say the instagram or facebook or even on essentials page we don't do it as much because i think now with the technology you can fake it so easily um, you can use that photoshop yeah. or whatever so like i do take picture before and after for my client on that particular day and i show them but um I, I did it maybe once or twice at the beginning and I posted and then you don't really know if people believe this is a real picture or this is picture taken after something different or 
one of the ladies had a little bit fake tan, so look different on obviously mm. before a session and then when you do that cleansing part already the, the skin looks more radiant from doing a little bit cleanser and exfoliant so that so definitely you can see the results after the first session so immediate okay um i just noticed there that uh we got a question in from somebody called i'm probably pronouncing her name wrong there again now looks like maricia and she says how long does the benefit last and approximately how much is it so it all depends how long will last depends about your age your lifestyle the condition of your skin and um, i will tell you something a lot of um teachers will recommend to see you once a week for example and have let's say six eight session um, myself personally i couldn't I just don't have time to be honest to take clients weekly so I only take clients once a month and that's why I came with the idea of providing face yoga classes and providing that extra homework for clients so when they do that at home combined with my professional treatment the results are there of course I can be greedy and say yes come in every week you know it's, but I just don't have the time to be honest so you will probably find somebody doing um something similar to face modeling that doing weekly but uh, sometimes i think it's that extra hard sale um myself um we are thinking about the price we don't actually price that like in my opinion it's not expensive it's 130 euro in the salon for an hour and a half so um like not expensive no no not not in the grand for example like when you look at something a little bit similar in la or london we're talking about 400 pounds in london 300 um yeah la la depends if you have those celebrity facialists they are crazy yeah. money. okay and then um, that's a good point as well actually about you know um that the person you know their lifestyle or whatever because i guess there's no point in having you know the lovely face modeling session and then going off and like eating all the wrong foods and staying up late and drinking too much alcohol and smoking <laughs> no i always i like i have to say i'm very lucky with my clients my clients are with me for around 15 years you know it's they they're very loyal and uh, they're fantastic they they friends at that stage but i always say you have to commit to my facials you you can't yeah. just come in and have a facial um, i'm very fortunate my husband is a chef and nutritionist so quite often when when i talk to a client i also ask about their diet or i ask about their supplements or trying to add something to their diet that maybe will change the appearance of their skin especially let's say with acne or eczema and i used to have very bad eczema so um i'm i'm in very lucky position to to have that knowledge but also um i will tell you the truth i i read about beauty every day so i'm so passionate about my work so i think i think it pays off for for what i did for such a long time okay and um you do you, I, I know that i read you had something like a three month waiting list and i think that was even before lockdown so do you still have like a long waiting list and Definitely. You know, those those yeah. treatments are are long you know it's when you think about day an hour and a half so you're not able to have too many clients a day and um, also of course now after the COVID, you know, it's not after the COVID, but after the lockdown, I should say it, we we have that extra time to clean the room. You have to make sure your room is so clean, yeah. so perfect. The area you walk, we're very lucky in essentials. It's a, it's a big salon, but it's lots of space. We all have our rooms. We like in the room I'm working from, we have two big windows. I can keep them open now because we like yeah. the weather it's fantastic. Not today, <laughs> <laughs> but, but since we back, the weather was really nice. We have a big balcony. We can do all the washing, you know, it's such a basic things that um, 
I would say not many salons can provide, you know, it's so, so definitely I will have that waiting list still going. But what, like, say if you, with the client um, and they come in and they have their session done, would you book them in for another session a month later or six weeks later? What way does that work? So once, once a month, if I have the time, um, at the moment I try to just, I don't really have as many uh, free appointments, so they go on cancellation yeah. list. Um, and fair play to people now, since we're back, uh, even if they have a little bit cold or flu or they don't feel well, they just cancel and we always have somebody yeah. else to, to give the appointment. So people are very careful um, not to come in with, yeah. you don't know what, you know, so extremely lucky with our loyal clients. Okay. And then um, in terms of, you know, obviously there's the physical benefits, but it, it takes in like it's a kind of a natural approach and does it have benefits to the mind as well as i said because we work with the shoulder that's automatically open your shoulder open your chest you feel better you breathe better of course and um, also with the buccal and with the osteopathic massage i work with especially this area and we all hold a lot of cortisol there it's our hormone stress. We don't even realize how much is there. And from okay. working with those, with those muscles, we're replacing them with our endorphins, or our happy hormones. So automatically, it's the posture. So you feel, oh, I just had a lovely, you know, it's neck and shoulder massage, even with yeah. deep tissue because the copying and the tapes and the osteopathic. Sometimes I even use a red light, you know, it's just the near infrared on the back winter months, you know, just to get that extra heat. And then, so you have that one plus the cortisol. And naturally when we stress, to be honest, we should shout on someone or run from the problem, but we don't. Like if we, if something's going on, we're just so happy. And especially Irish people, I always say, they say, no, it's grand, it's fine. But inside, they want to just really, uh, you know, it's work on that stress level, bash away. Um, and there is massage involved, face massage involved, that it's not effarage. You know, it's the effarage is just the surface. So you working with the neck with the shoulder my signature massage always covers the neck that extra way and sure. um, think about it's an hour and a half treatment on your face neck and shoulder it's not an hour it's not 10 minutes mask 10 minutes peel 10 minutes something you constantly working with hands and i highly highly believe um the power of hands is the most powerful thing. There is no machine, and I love machine, and I work with the machine. I'm a big fan of mm -hmm. a beauty machine, um, but your hands are the best tools ever. Okay. Um, <laughs> we got a couple of questions in there while you were talking, so I might go to them first yeah. in case I run out of time. Um, Yvonne wants to know where is the best place to train in this treatment? Definitely in Poland. And if she contact me on the Instagram, I promise I will send you the right full name of Aneta. Uh, if you just go on Instagram, um, Aneta Gregorowicz Gorlo, <laughs> uh, the most difficult surname, even Polish. Um, yeah. I did, I will tell you the truth, I did my research for two years. Um, and I was okay. looking where to get. Um, she was fantastic. I know she's Polish. I'm not sure if she does the full training in English, but there is obviously a way of asking. Um, there is a lady in France. She probably will came across uh, her. Um, I find her training is extremely expensive. Um, and she only really teach you how to do the buccal part and a little bit of of something else that I didn't even check. And there is another guy, he's um, Russian, Israeli. Mm, I just find he doesn't have that holistic approach fully. You know, it's, if you start following his profile, um, you will know what I mean. <laughs> okay. 
I actually, I think when I was when I was reading up on it, I found um, it was an, Anita, Anita, where you did your training. She has her own website. So she has the I website, think, and probably it's a little bit in English. I didn't check myself, but yes. No, you can. I think you can because I read. I, I you know, oh, I read. Perfect, it yeah. it, and you can you can switch from I guess Polish to English or whatever <laughs> way it works. Oh, that super! Way. I didn't yeah. even check that one, so that's yeah. that's good to know. Yeah. And Orla wants to know where your clinic is. That's on Bagot Street. Essential, Essential Clinic. It's 7 Upper Bagot Street, uh, Dublin 4. Okay, so that's the further away end of town, isn't it? Sorry? That's further, the, the further end from town. It says you're yes, going out it, of town. It's, yeah. it's very close to town. You know, it's a walking yeah. distance from town. Yeah. Okay. From city centre, um, yes. And then the same lady, Marisa, uh, who looks like she has a Polish surname, which I can't pronounce. She okay. wanted to know uh, how many treatments would you do in a day? Oh, um, all, my, all my facials, they take an hour and a half in general. Yeah. So if I if I do a face modeling, that will be an hour and a half. But then after that, maybe somebody will have a facial with LED light or yeah. a facial with um, IPL units. There are so many options. So I don't really take less than an hour and a half at the moment. I used to yeah. do mini lift treatment that Gino has it and it's incredible also. Uh, that's only 45 minutes, but now I try to give those appointments or move to another therapist because unfortunately I don't really have the time to do it. And the yeah. demand for face modeling is huge. Okay, that, that's really nice to know. Um, you're very sought after. Um, <laughs> so we've kind of looked at the, the, my next question, which is, what would you say to any beauty professional that wants to start doing it? I guess they need to do training. You need to do training. You have to believe in the natural manual facials. For a therapist, it's very hard to do this treatment. I'm not going to lie. You think about you actually working with your hands for an hour and a mm -hmm. half. And there will be a day that you only have the face modeling. So let's say you have five of them. So that's a lot, you know, it's because yeah. you're not only working with the hands, you're working with the posture, you know, it's you, you have to look after yourself. And um, people really open when they have face modeling, the way they talk about their problems, about what they want to mm -hmm. change, you know, so you, you don't want to take that home. Um, you, you just, it's a, diff, it's a different way of, um, of giving treatment to, to a client. As I said, when you work with facials, let's say if you work with the machine, you just work with the machine, you know, it's the peel, you apply the peel, you know, it's, you do have that extra maybe 10, 15 minutes through the treatment to, I'm not saying relax, but just give a rest yeah. to your hand or your brain. When in face modeling, you try to add so much. You try to give them, myself personally anyway, I try to give them so many advices, what they should do, what they shouldn't. Um, the plan at the beginning was also to give them advices, what face exercises they should be doing. But then I realized there was actually no time. No time. <laughs> no, you know, it's so I was like, okay, what am I supposed to do? So then I started doing the actual classes, you know, so... Um, I say it's an extremely good treatment. I highly recommend to get trained, but you have to be so passionate. Like if you just, I will tell you the truth. I had a treatment with um, somebody in Poland, somebody here also, not full face modeling here, but some other techniques similar to face modeling and, and was a joke, you know, it um, wasn't good. The person didn't have that, didn't have that talent, I would say. And I'm not, yeah. I'm not trying to say, oh yeah, I'm doing the best treatments, but it's a hard work. But if you, if you do it right, you will have loyal clients forever. They will travel for your treatment from different counties in, in, uh, in Ireland. 
Okay, so yeah, so it sounds like it's, um, you know, it's physically quite intense, but sort of mentally, and you'd want to be, you really want to feel passionate about what you're doing. Exactly, you have to be a hundred percent passionate about, but more passionate about the manual treatment. You know, it's because not everybody fully believe a manual treatment can give you that result. Yeah. Because it's just so easy to go and just inject something on your lunch break. Yeah. When you are getting the, the proper result, but it's a work. Okay. And then um, we'll just move on to, because you mentioned face yoga, and I think you mentioned, did you say something about giving clients facial exercises to do? And their, the homework. As I said, home, I'm, yeah. I'm a huge, huge believer of uh, homework. homework. I always was, even before face modeling training, I always was saying, okay, that's what you have to do. Don't bother to come in to me if you're not following the routine. I was very strict. And I think the fact I'm Polish and I and the pronunciation quite often it's strong. People just nearly <laughs> afraid and they do everything. Um, yeah. But I have to say, um, yes, I got um, trained eventually as a face yoga teacher. Because at the beginning, I just bought a few books thinking, okay, I will be able to say to, let's say, this and this person what she should do, or I will send you a copy of the book or that particular exercise. But you, you didn't have that full knowledge of muscles to the extent you do when you do a proper training. Um, and then again, searching for the right person took me ages, a lot of not incredible uh, teachers, you know, it's teachers that, again, they charge thousands and thousands for, for classes. Um, and I was very lucky I got trained with Danielle Collins in Bath in UK. Highly recommend this lady. She, she knows what she's doing. She's not greedy. She will help you. She promotes you as a teacher. Um, but when I did her training, I find the exercise were there, the meditation part was there, but I also wanted to add a few things to the class. And that's why when we were talking the first time or we were exchanging emails, I said, I create something like Face Yoga by Agnes. Yeah. And because I really wanted to add the Gua Sha that I'm a huge fan of, um, the coping, so not the glass coping we do in the salon, but I was providing my clients with the silicone cups that they can take home and work on it. And that face application of kinetic tapes. So then when you learn that in the class, then you can do those treatments uh, fully then. And uh, I used to provide those classes in essentials um, before all that COVID. Um, there were like three yeah. classes once a week. They were very successful. I only was taking six people. I wasn't taking more than that because I feel you have to really work yeah. uh, individually. You have to see people's faces, you know, it's, um, and um, the results were there, you know. It's so what can I say? The face modeling and face yoga, they really complement each other kind of really well and they work superb together. And are you doing um, face yoga online now or anything? You can, can you so not do through, it through, the, through the COVID, um, I'll tell you the truth, lots of my friends and clients did ask me to do it. So I did for them, but I had to do it. I find doing online, you have to do one-to-one. -one. Few people ask me about the Zoom one or um, have, let's say, three friends together. Uh, but you have to see every single muscle. It's only two classes that you do online. So I think people yeah. can really commit to those two classes. It's only an hour and a half. I used, used to, let's say, send them the gua sha and the copying and a little bit of the kinetic tapes and they were able to provide this one also. I think from everything that is happening now, I eventually will think about something online, yeah. face yoga, because the demand is there. It's just to find the time. As I said, since I'm back to work, I'm very busy and uh, uh, it is what it is, but it will yeah. happen. 
I was that's I was going to say that when he said, you know, oh going forward, you know, I might think about doing some stuff online. I was going to say, I don't think you've time. <laughs> You're so busy. <laughs> uh, but as I said, you know, it's it's it will happen. You know, it's, it's yeah. I think will, will will happen, but there is no full plan yet. <laughs> yeah. And uh, before we finish up, then I just wanted to ask you, you know. The, the you know what we've been talking about is very much obviously around you know natural methods um as opposed to and i mean there's nothing wrong with the other methods either but this is very much a natural method and you know tapping into the body um do you think stuff like face modeling and yoga will become more mainstream now within the beauty industry um, definitely people don't want frozen faces and I'm saying that from the day one um, they want their faces be able to move we need yeah. oxygen for the muscles to really work we have to remember we have 57 muscles on our face between the face neck and ears if we don't use them we don't have enough oxygen we don't have that proper blood supply so even we not expressing as much on the skin probably look nice and smooth but long term the results are not as active as they should be you know and so yeah. i find especially through covid that you didn't for three months or four months people didn't have a chance to see their doctors mm -hmm. a lot of people started asking about those natural methods. I'm still a huge fan of machines of, as I said, LED light, galvanic, microcurrent, microdermabrasion. Yeah. I think they're superb, but I think we should move more forward to the machine, to the face yoga, uh, face modeling, not as much um, injectables. If you want to do it, just do it, you know, it, and see if that really suits you. Because a lot of people saying, oh, I want to do it, and when they do it, they feel, oh, I'm, I'm not liking this, you know, it's, uh, yeah. but it's your life, it's your decision. But I think with the technology now and the knowledge we have now, we can provide incredible treatment. And as I said, I have clients for 15 years. So when they came to me, they, let's say they were 40 or 50. So they 15 years older and they look so well, they never had anything too strong done um, they look incredible we exercise our body why we don't exercise our faces so that's that's what I always say and you know it's when your child is I don't know crying you know it's crying you know it's when it's smiling it's smiling you don't want to be the mom that it's crying and your child doesn't recognize what actually you're trying to to show them you know and so um, and try to accept ourselves, you know, it's, that's, that's what I'm always saying, you know, it's um, self-care, it's not cancel, you know, it's we have to look after ourselves, you know, it's, it's not just the face, modeling face yoga, as I said, it's the food, it's the exercises, meeting the right friends, have that company, you know, it's seeing the family, it's, yeah. it's, it's a big table of different tools we have in our lives. And I think this time really show us we have to um, use them, you know, it's because time, like life is too short. You don't know what is happening. So um, definitely um, face modeling, face yoga is incredible. Um, and I'm not saying completely uh, taking over the other stuff, but I'm hoping after this webinar, a lot of people want to do more and there will be good few uh, passional uh, therapists that they want to become the face yoga or face modeling practitioner and they will provide the right treatment brilliant um and i just had uh orla who'd asked a question earlier on who just said at the end there thank you and can you give approved people that give training and she did say we could type it back so we might put that up on our on um under the webinar i think Will I direct people to the Polish website? You can direct to the Polish one. If they want to ask me a question, I have the Instagram, it's Agnes Rafał. So they can, okay. uh, they can ask me any questions. You know, it's, I, I will be able to, to reply um, because that's okay. the best way of communication at the moment. I don't have anything on Facebook. I have my just private one, but uh, um, definitely on Instagram, I keep it. Um, professional and then 
obviously it's the essential clinic that if let's say i'm not available they can call essentials yeah. and our receptionist will be able to tell them more okay but your your instagram is, is a go-to place um so orla said thank you and marissa whose name i think i'm pronouncing wrong said thank you for your informed talk as well thank so, you so um, much <laughs> and uh, and thank you obviously from all of us at professional beauty um, that was lovely. It was really interesting to hear all about that. Um, Such a privilege and talking to professional, it's slightly different also. <laughs> just worry, yeah, different but... audience actually, yeah. Um, so yes, Agnes, thank you very much and uh, best of luck with uh, your busy, busy schedule going forward and hopefully we'll talk to you again. Definitely. I hope so. And let's, let's do that face yoga we were talking Absolutely, about. Right? So that's, that's on the list. You. You're on yeah, my list now. You. <laughs> and thank you everybody for tuning in and we will be keep an eye on our social we'll be back next week with another webinar i think it's going to be on thursday so just keep an eye on our social in the meantime so until then thanks everyone and thanks again agnes thank Bye. you so much thank you for having me thank you thank you thank you <laughs>